A playground at Dow Gardens is a real hot topic for community members and visitors in the Midland area. Dow Gardens announced the closure just two days ago, causing some angry words and comments from the community. Our Lisa Irwin spoke with the director today about the reason this decision was made and what is next for the space. The Dow Gardens playground, which has been loved and enjoyed by the community since 2018, is now undergoing demolition. Unfortunately, it closed on Monday. The Dow Gardens team is sad too. Um, we love the playground. Director Elizabeth Lumbert says because of the natural layout of the area, the ground base was very wet, causing concern for a quality experience. And safety was top of mind for this decision. It showed us that we had a lot of rotting elements and we took care of those elements and we um, made sure things were safe. It was never unsafe, but we could see the direction that it was headed. To replace the damaged infrastructure, a five inch base would have to be made with concrete pieces for the playground, not wood. So now the plan is to turn the space into a more natural area. Dow Gardens is a privately owned business. Therefore, Lumbert said they did not ask the community, but the board of trustees was involved. The salvageable materials have been donated to community nonprofits, keeping the playscape pieces local. It's a part of our fabric as well, um, and we know it was part of the community. We're going to re-sculpt that area right now, and we're going to pause. We're going to take a look at what it feels like, what it looks like, um, what we can offer. Lumbert says if parents bought an annual pass with only the playground in mind, Dow Gardens will work with those who reach out. She also points to the other spots there are to discover on the 110-acre property, including botanical gardens and forest trails to explore. She hopes community members and visitors will continue to create new memories. We love families and children. We love all our guests, and we want them to come and enjoy this magical place. The timeline for this playground demolition is supposed to be about one week, then two weeks to get it back into this natural state. As we have more updates, we will continue to bring those to you. Here in Midlands, I'm Melissa Irwin with ABC 12 News.